Right, my name is Jermaine Cunningham. I'm a sports management student. Um, okay. I'm a sports management student. I do a lot of sports. Um, and one, there's one change I notice that's always, um, that's always happening for me. So basically, that change, uh, I'm going to try and make you figure it out. I brought two shoes up here. Uh, can you tell me the differences between them, please? Oh, here I am. Okay, I do a lot of sports, as you can tell. Um, there we go. Right, next slide, please. Okay. Right, can you tell me the difference? Oh, it's already there, anyways. Oh, um, I've created, I've actually created a, an invention for the shoe. The, the sole comes off. So it's being made in America right now. What happens is you pull the top, you pull, oh, come on, box. You pull the top and the, the sole of the shoe comes off and you can change it to almost any sport you want to change it to. It's being developed by a company in America called Davids, uh, Davidson. Uh, so that's being made over there right now. Can you have the next slide, please? Uh, I, my target audience is going to be anyone sports-minded from from a uh, male, fe male, female, any gender, and I can also change the target market to um, children. So if you've got uh, ch children, it can, your, ch your child can go into Sports Locker, JD Sports Foot Locker, and they'll be like, I want that shoe, I want this shoe. This shoe is different because you can buy this and instead of wasting your money, uh, like 80 pounds, 30 pounds and whatnot, this one, you can buy the one shoe that they can always be playing with, so you can, they can change the soles. It's going to be coming in a lot of colors and whatnot. So this is what the shoe is going to be. It's going to be cost effective uh, because it's going to be 80 pounds. But the, when you want to buy that, the shoe, the bottom is going to be changing. You're going to change to, so you're going to have about 15 to 10 pounds of um, the sole. So it's going to be like one shoe. But essentially, if you want a different shoe, you can buy the sole. It's going to be very durable. It's going to be made of carbon fiber. Uh, stylish comes in many colors, like neon, pink, neon, yellow, you name it. And it's going to be very versatile because the bottoms can change. Next slide, please. Our competition is essentially going to be sports companies like Nike, Adidas. But it's, uh, it's, since it's a different invention, it's something new. I think it can be a big impact on the UK market. Price range, price range I said, is about going to be about £80. Pounds. Uh, and, and after that, it's going to be about 10 to 15 for each to the interchangeable soles. Uh, I've created an exit, exit strategy. The exit strategy is going to be if anyone really wants to, like any company really wants to buy the invention, I'm going to have to sign the invention like 50% a percentage of it over. I'll be selling them either, if it's really bad, I'm going to probably come to worst sell the whole invention that patented it under my name. So if it's really bad, the exit strategy is probably selling it somewhere. Uh, funding. This funding will really help me. I'm in a process right now of developed, you just need to go to creation. So the creation process, I've got about $450 left to be paid off. This uh, 1,000 £1, pounds could really help me. Uh, in, in comparison to everyone else that's here right now as well, my shoe is actually something that's been, been almost near the, the, the finished development process, so this money could really, really help me. So, uh, That's my shoe invention. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving around to the top. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jermaine. Judges, any questions you have for Jermaine? Straight, straight off the bat, um, you, you said you were going to make it out of carbon fibre, and oh, line, no. but that's an aligned fibre composite. Yeah. That doesn't do well under impact, and it's expensive and difficult to manufacture. Why would you do that? That can change as well. It's the material form, but I can also change that. It's, we're going to put it to the test, and I forgot to mention the bomb is going to be made of um, bio, uh, biodegradable plastic as well, so it's very environmentally friendly. So the, the soul of it. So which bit are you saying would be made out of carbon fiber? The actual body embodiment of it, so the material around it would actually be carbon fiber, that's what I'm planning to do. Yeah. Okay, you might want to look at that. <laughs> so who's manufacturing it for you? Uh, it's a company named Davison in America. What they do is take your ideas and they see, they see if it's a good idea, they can turn it, change, take it and change it into an invention. So it's going through the process of being actually made right now. I just need the money to... Did you have to go through a competitive process? To get that? Uh, no, I didn't. I was actually being very proactive. I kept on looking online, and um, I kept on calling people and whatnot, and I found them. And yeah, they, they, they were willing to help me, and I've actually gone through a process with them. Uh, and then here I am right now. <laughs> but, uh, what about your intellectual property? Is there a danger of them sharing that with you? Uh, no, it's not. It's, since I've patented it under my name, it's, uh, they, can't, they can't really... If they're going to sign it to any companies or anything, they can't really do that because I've actually signed a physical agreement. Yeah. And have you, you say you've paid them $450 so far, have you? Uh, I've got that left to be paid off, so right. this How is why I defined it. So 
It's, it was about six hundred or five hundred dollars, so it's not that bad. Uh, yeah. How long have they had that then? Sorry. How long have they had that money? How long? It's been like a month now, one because I've been since I'm a student, I've been paying off bit by bit. Right. So this is why I found out this competition can help me with that. So. Okay, when are they due to deliver? Sorry. When are they due to deliver the finished article to you? What they do? Is we keep in e uh, email us. So they email me receipts. They keep they keep in contact through phone or whatnot. So we get what they do is when the finished product is well finished, um, I take a trip to USA and whatnot. So physically meet them, uh, sign the agreement, uh, receive my shoe and etc. Meet them in person. And have they given you a target date of when that will be? That's why I need to finish. I need the money to finish off so we can actually then go, okay, it's finished. So then we, then we can get a date to go there and... Okay, you said that your um, competitors are Nike and Adidas. I mean, they're fairly fearsome competitors. Yeah, you, got, you got a lot of big shoe companies. Well, why do you think that they haven't done this themselves yet? So, uh, it's, 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 it's actually quite strange. It's an idea, it's a concept I thought of, I was, I was well, kind of sleeping. I woke up, I was like, okay, I play a lot of, shoe, I play a lot of sports. Why has no company done this? I've actually looked into it and then I patented it because no, no, they always want to create new shoes for money. This is one shoe that you can create. You can create, you can like can change, you can change the bottoms and whatnot, but he's only giving me one price compared to them. It's something new, something that's never been done before. That's what's going to be interesting to people. Okay, but I suppose for mums and dads, practicality, practicality is really, really important. For the kids, it's about fashion. Practicality doesn't matter. Yeah. Last year, they were this colour. This year, they're a different colour. I want these new ones. And so I, I think there's a real issue here. But I think, I mean, I'll have a chat with you after here because that's I fine. just need to talk to you about the way you've spent your money, actually. That's fine. Um, because I'm a little bit concerned. Mm. Sure. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, can I just ask you, one of the weak points on sports shoes or the areas it goes first you quite often is the connection between the top and the sole. Uh, and obviously, if you're going to be able to swap these over, Flexible. Um, how how sure are you that in use the two aren't going to separate? I'm very sure because, as you can see on the blueprint, can we go back to the second slide, please? Let's go back more, please. Yeah, I'm very sure because, as you can see, uh, the each side is going to have clips on it, and these are a line of um, elastic going straight through it to the bottom sole right here. Once you pull on this, it's going to retract. It's going to retract the clips inwards. And it, the, the sole will come off once the new ones and it will clip in and it will hold. There you go. It's quite complex, I understand. <laughs> when you said you've patented it, what, is, what do you mean by that? So, um, I've actually signed over the agreement that it's in my, it's in my invention. But to whom? Um, it's a company named Davison, I've said. Um, they do ideas and whatnot. If, if you want, after I can show you the actual company. Okay, I'd be concerned about the IP ownership there. No, I can't really go into that. We've run out of time. Yes, fine. Sure. Okay. Okay.